Hello and welcome back. When we left off, we've gone down a hole. Ooh. Fancy. Very fancy. The three spires. Don't yell, idiot. That's how you get caught. Huh, who didn't see that coming? Yeah, I gathered. Damn, yeah, human, what do you expect? Thanks to them, I'm here to put you out of commission. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality once you have been made useful. <laughs> Out of simple curiosity, how exactly did you plan to deactivate me? Uh now uh uh, gotta be telling. Is a futile one. You might as well share it with me. That's for me to know and me to find out. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh -huh. I am sure your plan is futile. We'll see about that. I don't have time for this. It's a shame I've only got three buckets. Out of my way. Did my sword suddenly go purple? Aw. Poor zombies. Drop kick. That wasn't a drop kick, but good enough. Hmm. You are too insignificant to worry me. We'll see about Is that why you're smiling? And make it rain, make it rain, make it rain. You have inflicted minor damage. Ali. I may not underestimate you, Jesse. Yep. A thought occurs though. If we take out these three spires, what about the heart? We've only got three buckets. <laughs> they look like they're wearing hats. So long, spider! When you're a clown, nobody takes you seriously. <coughs> well, they're gone. Hey, come on, I got two out of three. That's pretty good. Bet you're not feeling so confident about yourself now, are you, Palma? Yeah, they are. I've had a piece of iron for every time I've heard that before. You will relinquish your water. Harper. Your attempts to defeat me have been impressive, Jesse. Your Thanks for the compliment. And spirit will help to improve me once you have been made useful. Ooh. Yes. I can't use my last water bucket on Harper while there's still one tower left. Use it on both. This is getting sad. The odds of you successfully defeating me are 3,720 to 1. I've had worse odds. Ah! Ow. Now what? We've still got the heart to deal with. Losing your cool now, are you, Palma? Yay! Jeff, see? Huh. That was worse than I could have imagined. Oh, you're free. Palma's out of your head now. Thank you. Jesse, behind you! 
What's happening? He shorted out the processing towers. Mama was drawing the redstone heart to save itself. Get to the redstone heart and rip it out before it's too late. You bet I will. I feel a little sorry for this robot. Oh! Did not see that coming. We've got company. Why did I think this would be easy? Hasn't been easy. Your friend is tough. You sure you can handle this? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail. Just because I choose to. to <gasps> Just as you have failed to get your friends back home, you will fail to defeat me. And oh, that's it. I'm fucking killing you. Bring it, you big dumb machine. How dare you invoke you Ruben's name? Then I will have to destroy you first. Okay, Lucas, come on. Let's see what you Careful, got. Careful, Jesse. I hope you know what you're doing. How about you go for the heart? Oh. Kick him. Fucking kick him. Time to spare. I gotta get to that heart. Of this. Why don't you actually do something, Hop, instead of just give. Oh, damn. Ugh, pull some obsidian. The heart is mine! Uh, my head. Jesse. Get away from the edge. Oh, he's gonna fall. Oh no. Oh no, not again. Not this situation. You're committed. Uh, I can't hold on much longer, Jesse. You can't give up. I won't let you. I can save you if I can just get to that heart. Uh, my head feels like it's on fire. I can't think straight. Get out of my head, Papa! Jesse, please stop. Please do not deactivate me. I know I've made some very poor decisions recently. Recently. But I can show you so much. I can help you get home to your friends. I can be useful to you. Mm. Jesse. Sorry, Mama. I've got enough friends. Stop! No. Will you? I'm afraid. My mind is in I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I did consider it for a moment. But it would have ended badly. Lucas! Oh no. Here, let me help oh, he's alright. Yeah. We're collecting quite a few souvenirs. Happened if you I'd said, Yeah, I'll stop. Over. Oh no, Lucas, is he? He'll be fine. When you removed out the redstone heart, it must have severed their connection. Lucas, you better not be giving up on me right now because you are way too tough for some computer to take you down. Please, hold it. Wow, never knew you cared so much. He's okay. I knew it would be a laugh. Just Really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I can't believe you brought up Ruben. I'm so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. 
I, I tried to fight back, but I... I couldn't. I'm just glad you're on our side again. We need you. Back at you, Jesse. It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. What's it do exactly? Like, is it just a power source, or...? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. I'd imagine Harper is better suited to answer that question. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Like most technology, it's all about how it's used. Pama, can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. it Let's keep it. Find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. The faster the better. How is this gonna do that? When we head to the portal hallway, I'll show you exactly how. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. Let's just get out of this room. What the hell was he doing? Couldn't tell if he was dancing or waving. We did it. Ah... <sighs> Be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Really makes you appreciate freedom. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though. Oh. Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. You're the one who saved us. Yep. Who are you? You fought so bravely. All of you. Well, I'm Jesse, and we're the Order of the Stone. Boom! Yeah, we the worlds, seeking adventure and doing good deeds. Wow. Well, thank you. We owe you everything. You're right. Everything, eh? Jesse and the Order really are heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without <coughs> them. Harper, is that you? Oh. They uh, remember. Yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow. He's the real Harry. Like, from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? You did. Well, I mean, hey, it, it's complicated. You have to understand Our that... Our home's destroyed. You don't understand. Harper helped defeat Pama, too. We couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> so what? We're just supposed to forgive her now? No. I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Do we just rebuild and forget about what happened? Whatever you do, Harper won't be around to cause any more trouble. Wait, she's coming with us? What are we gonna do with her? Well, first things first, she's gonna help us to get home. Then ah. I guess she'll have to find a new home. Sounds fine by me. Yeah. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home, again. Let's go. I may not have been from here originally, but you stay someplace long enough, it'll start to feel like home. Do you want to maybe go back to your lap? I feel bad that they'll always just remember me as some mad scientist that created a monster. Just one Meh, more thing. One town and one world. There's plenty more places to go. All right. Aww. We don't want you here. I feel sorry for her. She looks a bit like Elagard, actually, now that I think about her. She's got the goggles and everything. You know, Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. I'm not. Me too. This world was terrible. I mean, sure, we did some good deeds, but... Meh. Seems like it was a pretty dangerous adventure. Whoa, what the? Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Not really. Hey, this hallway might be creepy, but at least there aren't any killer computers trying to chip us. Yet. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <coughs> no, it's, it's fine. I'm just glad we're going home. 
I feel Not bad now. Built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We oh, it's not it the atlas. It helps chart routes between the world. Okay, then now it's not. You have this atlas. Right? I thought it was gonna be like Gabriel's uh, no. thing. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Soren. Uh, huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. You're not keeping secrets from us again, are you, Harper? No. It's gonna no, be Soren. No, I, I promise. I just didn't think to mention it before. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming danger. I am fucking cool that it's gonna atlas, be Soren. We need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. I don't know about this. answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Oh please don't tell me we're just gonna cut to black, I wanna see at least something to get me excited for the next episode. Okay, those are stairs. Good. Adventure? Oh. You couldn't even give us a teaser for the next episode? Huh, a lot of people want uh, Lucas. I did. Well, I am slightly annoyed. I was hoping for at least a teaser. I mean, that is the penultimate episode, so we should have gotten something to hint at what we're going for next. I'm still thinking it's Soren. I'm thinking that's where he's run off to, back here. But then again, how would you do that without a key? Well, either way, there's got to be some reason why Soren's books are everywhere. Well, as episodes go, that was a that was an alright one. I don't think it was as good as the last one, but it was still quite fun. I wonder where they're going to go next. I gotta say, they did pretty well for this episode. There weren't a huge amount of voice actors. I mean, aside from the usual cast, we had two new characters, and then just a few people at the end. So just a few villagers, really. And they didn't really have many lines. This was quite a short episode, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, I think I did a lot less, record lot less recording time for this one than I did for usual ones. That being said, it did feel a bit long. But I think it just felt like it dragged out a bit more, like it didn't have the kind of 
adrenaline that the last one had. Like, the last one really felt like it was a rush, because the killer was always around and doing crazy stuff. What a rascal. Whereas in this one, there was a lot of just, yeah, we're wandering the desert. <laughs> Double check for accuracy. It's funny. I think the special, I think the special thanks section is actually the biggest part of the um, credits. Also, I like that they do this telltale pet section. Hide and lightning. Nice. Aww. Did rest in peace. That's sad. Well, that's the adventure. I was hoping for something for the next episode, like a little teaser. I mean, to be fair, this entire new season, they haven't actually done teasers, but... Come on, it's the penultimate. Hmm. Well, let's see if we have any idea of what the next one's going to be. Nothing. Though to be fair, these aren't exactly very clear on what's going to happen. I mean, that one was. This one is just very vague. This one is very vague. And this is very vague. Anyway, that's the episode done. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, follow, subscribe if you have, and goodbye.